What's up everyone, Brian from GumballTech.com again, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Emohi keyboard as well as how to theme your normal keyboard. First, let me show you what the Emohi keyboard looks like really quick. Here it is. It's basically a bunch of little emoticons that you could use. You know, there's smileys, uh, food, cars, flags, just a bunch of different things. There's over 400 little icons that you could use. So that is that. And to get it, you need to go to Cydia and then search for something called Free Mohi. You spell it like F R E E M O J I. It should be in the Mod My Eye source. Once you have it installed, go back to your home screen and then open the settings application. Once it comes up, go to General, scroll down to Keyboard international keyboards go about midway till you get to Japanese and then flip the switch on for the Emohi keyboard once you do that you can get out of settings and then open any app that uses the keyboard here is QTweeter wonderful great application for Twitter and Facebook and to activate your Emohi keyboard You'll have a little globe icon in the bottom left. I don't have it right here because I'm using a themed keyboard, but yeah, you tap that icon and it opens up your Emohi keyboard as shown earlier. And that is your Emohi keyboard and how to get it. Next up is theming your regular keyboard. Um, usually that is something that you can only do if you're on 2.0. But since 3.0, you can't do it. It just doesn't want to work. So the way around that is to get something called iAccess. I-A-C-C-E-S. Um, it's mainly a Japanese or Chinese, not exactly sure. Um, it's mainly a handwriting recognition and extended keyboard for those languages. But along with it, you can also theme your normal English keyboard. I'm going to go up and open notes really quick. Give you a little tour of the one I have. So here is my keyboard. This is called the MacBook White Keyboard. A uh, cool little feature about this one is that when you tap on an icon, you get a little blue glow around it. So that's pretty cool. You have your normal letters numbers and symbols just like your normal keyboard it just looks a lot nicer and you can still access your Emohi keyboard by tapping on the left part of the spacebar some themes will have the little globe icon on the left part of it so this one doesn't but you just tap right there and they'll show up and there you go so you're, you're going to need eye access for this. Um, to get that, open up Cydia and then search for eye access. I A C C E S. Just one S at the end. You should see something called the eye access community sources. Um, install that. And then, once it's installed, go back to search and type in eye access again. This time, install iAccess for OS 3.0. It should be in the iAccess community source. <clears throat> so, once it's installed, do a reboot, not a respring. After you install it, it should say, uh, please respring or something like that. When, it, when it's done doing that, do a complete reboot. And then, once you do that, Go and open up the iAccess application from your home screen. Now, when you open up for the first time, you, could, you should get some sort of message. Um, after you tap that message, the app may close. If it does close, do one more respring, and then open the app back up. And this is what it looks like. When, you're, when you first open it, all these little sliders should say on for most of them. 
what you need to do is turn all of them off. Just flip all of these to off, except for the first one. Leave that one on. After you do all of that, tap on exit. And then you need to do a respring. You could easily do that if you have SP settings installed. Just bring it down and go to respring. Shouldn't take more than 10 seconds to do. Alright, respring is done. Alright, now bring up anything that uses the keyboard, such as Q Tweeter again. When you first open it, ev the, your, your keyboard should look normal. What you need to do is tap on the globe icon, which will bring up Emoji. Tap on the globe one more time to bring up your new keyboard. The default theme with iAccess, it looks similar to the normal one, but it has maybe a little glossy feel to it. So to get keyboards like this, you need to open up Cydia once again, and you will have to add our Cydia repo. Right now we have 12 different keyboards that you could install at once. Winterboard is required. So our city repo is gumballtech.com slash Cydia. Add that to your Cydia app under Manage, then Sources. And once you do that, you can install our 12 iAccess keyboards package. If it, it does require Winterboard. If you don't have it installed, it will install it. <clears throat> um, if you're good with the Debian D package commands, you could download our .deb file directly and then extract everything from it. Then you could replace the images manually. That's what I did. I don't use Winterboard, so I had to do everything the the uh, leet way, I guess you could say it. <laughs> but anyway, um, so once you have our package installed, you would open up Winterboard, and then there should be 12 new entries. Each of them are the name of a keyboard, such as Blackberry Storm, uh, the glossy keyboard, and there should be three different MacBook keyboards. So you check one of those, exit Winterboard, it should respring, and then this time when you go to your modified keyboard, it should look like your the one you chose in Winterboard. You could preview all 12 different keyboards by going to gumballtech.com slash Cydia, and it should be number 11. It is our 11th package. Woohoo. And then that is about it. So that is a video on how to install the Emohi keyboard as well as how to theme your normal keyboard running 3.0, 3.1.2 in my case, which is the latest firmware on my iPhone 3G. So there you go. Go ahead and visit gumballtech.com for more videos and things like this. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bsweet, B-E-S-W-E-E-T. I tweet a lot, so I may fill up your timeline. And that's about it. See you next time. One more quick little thing. If you're wondering what this is, this is called Pocoplank. It replaces your pages of apps with a wheel with different folders around it. Each folder has your apps that you could choose using the Pocoplank settings application. So if you're wondering, that's what it's called. We do have a video and a post on it at gumballtech.com. Just search for Pogoplank in the search box, and that's about it.